Hello everybody, welcome to How to Hire Your First Virtual Assistant. I'm Kirby Chan, I'm in Toronto here. I'm the CEO of The Power of 1000 Leaders. So I founded the company, it's a virtual assistant company in the Philippines. And in that company, I started to develop something more advanced. It's called Virtual Leaders. I wanted to hire leaders there in the Philippines. So they're not virtual assistants. I want somebody to start as a virtual assistant, but graduate into a leader where they don't need that constant um, attention, right? You want someone that's like your partner in your business. So that's what we're developing there. And it's run as a nonprofit. So meaning that I don't take any revenues from that company. Everything goes to the Philippines, okay? And it gets dispersed with everybody, okay? There's a profit sharing model there. And everybody that's working at the Power 1000 Leaders view themselves as stakeholders, like they own the company. What that does, it creates a different culture of virtual assistants. It creates a culture where they're hardworking, longevity, they don't leave, right? And you know what? They don't want to create a bad name for the company because that will affect everyone. So everyone there works together as a team. So that is who I am. Now, let's take a look at how to hire your first virtual assistant. So I just gave you one option. You can hire the power of 1,000 leaders, right, to hire a virtual leader, or you can hire direct. So what is hiring direct or agency, okay? Well, hiring direct is, the pro is that it's slightly less money, okay? It's cheaper to hire direct. But is it really cheaper? Is it? <laughs> because you don't know what they're doing, right? When you hire direct, you don't know what they're doing. You, there's no monitoring. Uh, you might need constant communication with them, right? So you have to have another monitor up, okay, with Zoom on, and you have to watch them while you work. Okay, because there's no accountability with somebody just sitting at home. It's too easy. It's too easy to pop over there into the couch, right, into the kitchen to cook something, okay, or to be with the baby, right? So, you know, your virtual assistant um, may be doing other stuff, okay? You don't know. So you, so you need some monitoring. You need some constant communication with them. Next con is uh, uh, the virtual assistant is alone, right? It's hard to work. Uh, alone sometimes and then if they leave you okay you have to start the hiring process all, all over again so that's also another con is that you're, you're 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 hiring right the process takes time you're gonna have to interview like 20 30 people just to find three good candidates sometimes 40 of them to find three good candidates so in the end how much is your own time worth you're actually paying more dollar per an hour Okay, uh, when they're not working, when you're hiring all the time, when you're interviewing all the time, you're actually paying more dollar an hour because your dollar worth is your 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 worth. Okay, so think about not how much you pay them, but how much time you're taking. Okay, with a certain uh, virtual assistant, so that's what you have to be uh, aware of. And then um, you don't have access to the full talent pool in the Philippines, so that's something that. Um, an agency has so that's what we're gonna go look at now agency you know a pro is they have access to a pool of talent there they can go through you know local classifiers they can go through local channels other than Facebook right so what do you happens is that you save time okay your dollar per hour is important so you save your time because a dedicated team leader will go and hire somebody right support and train the virtual assistant see they'll do the 40 interviews 40 uh screening interviews and they'll give you the three top candidates to interview that saves you a lot of time already and then you pay the working time so that means the team leader is going to monitor like when they're working and that's what you pay okay so everything's monitored when they check in you know every couple of um intervals they'll take a screenshot of the, the computer and see if the you know the keyboard's been moving the last 15 30 minutes so they monitor all that okay and when you're measured you know performance increases so it's, it's not really like I'm, I'm keeping a leash on you but when someone is monitored or performance is kept 
tabs on them, right? Somebody's performance will increase, okay? Now, the, 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 the virtual assistant or virtual leader is actually working within a team. And it's good, okay? You have other virtual assistants that they can talk to and, and, and help them. And then if the virtual assistant leaves the agency, then the agency will replace them. They'll give you the three again to choose from, which will save you a lot of time again, because if your virtual assistant does a direct hire leaves, you're gonna have to go through those resumes again. Now, if you wanna still hire directly, this is what you do, okay? First, you write the job description, very detailed, exactly what you want, okay? Describing it. Then you make a job ad and you post it on Facebook, okay, and other sites that you can find on Google. And then you either list out is it full time or part time. What time zone are you in is important because it's a 12 hour, 13 hour difference for Eastern time here, but it's a different time in Pacific time, okay? And then will you train, okay? Or are they gonna be experienced already? Right. If you have, if you're gonna train, the person's gonna be should be cheaper, right? Their skill level is lower, and if they're more experienced, they should be more expensive. Okay. So if you want to train again, think of your own time, how much it's worth. So you may have to find something in the middle, okay, where they're 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 doing a similar role somewhere else, or uh, they're doing the role that you want them to already, okay, so that you can get them maybe mid level. But if you want someone that's proven, and you're like, wow. Someone proven locally is $30 an hour. If I go there, I can afford $15 an hour, for example, right? And then finally, you interview them, okay? You may give a dis personality assessment to them, and then you interview them based on the assessment, right? And based on some questions that you have about your own industry. And then finally, you negotiate a rate, okay? Negotiate a rate and then one of the things that's hard to do though is actually um, when you negotiate a rate, uh, setting up a contract is paying them at the end, right? Uh, a lot of people use uh, PayPal, but PayPal is really not really a solution. So uh, we try to stay away from PayPal. Uh, PayPal, the fees are high, right? So you wanna look at different uh, ways of paying them, okay? And there's no right answer here. Uh, there's multiple sites of how to send money over overseas. Now, steps to hiring with an agency. So with an agency, it's a little simpler. You just meet with the team leader, right? You have your job description. You meet with the team lead leader. You give them the job description, right? They're going to match you up with what you need with three candidates that, that, that fulfills that need. Then uh, it's really going to interview them, right? You get their disk. You get their resume. You get your profile. You get their... Um, uh, the interview, you get to the interview and you want to see the connection you have with that person. Okay. They don't have to be just like you, but you want to see if you can work together. Okay. And then you sign the contract to hire a virtual assistant. Okay. Make sure the contract is there's, there's something in there that you can switch virtual assistants, right? Most, most agencies do. And is there a trial period? Okay. So because you want to give this a try. If you never hired a virtual assistant and it may not be for you. So you want to set up that one month trial period there. So here are some questions to ask. How long is the contract? Okay. Some places do one year contracts. Okay. Which I personally think is a little too long. I think three months is perfect. Can I replace the virtual assistant if it doesn't work? Okay. Should be yes. Who pays the Christmas bonus? So Christmas bonus is that uh, extra month at the end of the year, okay? Whereas they get a Christmas bonus. So who pays that, the agency or you? Is the virtual assistant monitored? Okay, some agencies monitor the virtual assistant, some don't. At the power of 1,000 liters, we do. Like I said, when performance is measured, it increases. And number five, how do I know if they are working? Okay, so again, what are, you know, how do you know what they're doing? Okay. So these are questions to ask the agency. Okay. So for the power of 1000 liters, how long is the contract? The contract is three months long. Okay. Can I get replaced the virtual assistant if it doesn't work? Yes, you can replace the virtual assistant. Okay. And we'll provide you with three more candidates who pays the Christmas bonus client pays for the Christmas bonus. It's prorated, okay? 
is the virtual assistant monitored and how do you know if they're working? Yes, the team leader is the person that does the monitoring and you'll always know that they're working through the results that they're bringing in, okay? Now, the power of 1,000 leaders. Um, I shared with you a little bit already how I started the company, but here's the here's really the opportunity, right? Is, is that the connection, the effectiveness for your company is the key, okay? So what we're looking at is putting, bringing on a virtual leader in your business and you know the team leader working with you to find out what your goals are with the virtual leader and then working with you to set up a plan. What we wanna see is a 12 week planning with the virtual leader. So we don't wanna bring someone in and don't know what to do. No training, they just kinda of like figure it out. We don't want that. We want a 12 week plan. It could be two weeks of figuring things out but we have a plan of what would make this virtual leader effective. So what do you see as a goal for 12 months for that person? And you chart it all out week after week after week. So everything is planned out for the next 12 weeks for that person. It could be about learning in the beginning, right? And then about doing, okay? And then results, all right? So we separate things into a 12 week, you know, uh, planning and then 12 week pass we do the next 12 weeks so if you think about it it's every quarter they have a plan so what that does is that you don't have to meet with them every day you know by near the end okay i think i say in the beginning in the training meet every day right connect with them and then by the end you don't have to okay because they're leaders already they should be leading other virtual leaders by that time i would say after three months and building their team to support your company so what at the end is the power of 1,000 leaders gives you a win-win situation. The client, you wins. The power of 1,000 leaders, the virtual leader there wins too, right? There's no one in the middle now. There's no one in the middle taking some money out. Because when you take some money out, right, what happens is they're not going to win, right? It's not a win-win. They couldn't, if, if other people might say, oh, other agencies, they win too, right? But not necessarily, right? Because think about this. If you hire direct or hire through an agency, right, they're getting paid, you know, less, okay, because somebody is, you know, there taking the money away, right, uh, or or um, they're hiring direct, they're charging less, right. Now the Power One Thousand leaders, they're charging, um, they're getting more money there, right. So what that does is that we take at the Power One Thousand leaders the top talent, okay, in the industry into the company. So if we take the top talent in, right that benefits our clients ultimately. So this model really works, okay? Um, and it's kind of like the next level of hiring direct or hiring through an agency. Uh, at, at the company, you know, there's more things I wanna share with you that we develop is like, we not only develop um, income, which is salary, right? We're also developing many things that we have in North America that we, that we have, um, uh, that we take for granted, for example, like health insurance, right? And that's something we're developing for the Power 1000 leaders next. Um, there's also in the future, we're developing in a couple of years, uh, when we have more leaders is develop housing. And we're also developing school, okay? Schooling for their kids. So lots of, lots of fun projects coming down the line for the Power 1000 leaders. And as a client of ours, uh, you'll be supporting all of that, okay? So it's a win-win situation, you win, you know, with our structure and, and your business will grow, you know, they win and they get to build a life uh, over there in the Philippines. They don't have to travel all over the world just for opportunity. They can find opportunity with their family at home. All right. Thank you, everybody, uh, for this short presentation on how to hire a virtual leader. Uh, contact me, uh, Kirby Chan at uh, Facebook under Kirby Leader. Okay, find me in Facebook, it's Kirby Leader. And the Facebook page is called The Power of 1000 Leaders. You can find more information there. Uh, thank you everybody. And you know what, much success to you this year in your business with or without a virtual assistant. Bye-bye.